Hi guys, and welcome to Journey to Journeyman, episode number 17. And on this exciting episode, I make some bushings. It's a real simple project. Um, this is a motor, a headlight motor out of a 1987 Trans Am, and I've owned it since I uh, bought it brand new off the showroom in 1986. And these headlight motors will go bad, and you have to crank open the headlights. And what it is, is there's a nylon bushing inside of there that disintegrates. And so I bought some more and I thought, hey, why not make some out of that pop can aluminum and see if that might last a little bit longer. It, it may create another problem of being too strong and it breaks something down the road, but I'm going to try it with this pop can aluminum. Very simple little project making these bushings. If you want to see how I did that, stick around. I'll show you what I did. I just went to my scrap bin and got a piece of aluminum there and it looked like it was close to being the size so I chucked it up in the four jaw and gave it a shot. Now the fun part of taking a raggedy piece of metal and turning it into a nice little clean round piece of metal. So right here I noticed that one side of the bar was rounded and the other one was flat. And so what I did is stuck the tool up on the rounded side. Then I spun it around to where I was on the flat side and saw the distance. And then moved the workpiece in the jaws half the distance. And that would make it perfectly center in there. And you can see the wobble in there now that I stuck it back in there. But that will take all the... Um, meet equally off both sides now and uh, make it perfectly round. And here I'm just slowly sneaking up on this thing to make it round. I'm taking lighter cuts to get a good surface finish and just making sure the thing is, is round. I could use the power feed on here but I don't. I don't like the noise of all the gears going so someday I'm going to make a little silent um, device that will allow me to to power feed on here. Every now and then you get extremely lucky. Um, this mic's out right at about 485 and when I got this one cleaned up just to where it's round it mic'd out at 485 so this cleaned up perfectly so I can make those um, three bushings out of this so now I start the process of using my parting tool which kind of looks like a hacksaw and I cut off um, a bushing then I face it off so at least on each one I'll have one machine surface and then I mark another one cut it off and uh, I do all three of these and there's enough meat left on it when I'm done to re-chuck it in my six jaw. But 
there's quite a bit of stick out here so I just take light cuts and I'm hoping that I'm able to get five bushings out of this piece of stock and get the sixth one out of another piece. Once again, I'm shocked that when I pull this out of here, there's no line on it. There's, it, it actually cleaned up perfectly. Typically speaking, when you're um, rechuck it in another chuck or rechuck it in the same chuck, you can never get that line from cutting from one side to the other. But this one actually lined up perfectly. Now I take the machine uh, side of it and stick it inside the chuck, face off the hack sawed side and measure it and once I know the amount to come off I set up my dial indicator and I take off the specific amount of material to get it exactly the size. You know I always like to share my lessons learned and in this case this is one of those that turned out in the old adage of my business which is I'd rather be lucky than good any day. I lucked out so much that when I finally got the metal round of the little scrap piece I used it was the perfect diameter and also I got lucky that it was the right length that I was able to make all six of those bushings even rechucking it when I got it back in there Somehow I got it in there to where it, the last piece that should not have worked, worked. And so I was able to take that piece of scrap, turn it into six bushings. And on, a, I don't think it would be a journey to journeyman, but another video I'll be doing on fixing that um, headlight motor. And we'll see uh, how well it worked. And I really appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for taking the time to spend it with me. And I hope to see you on the next Journey to Journeyman.